so I'm trying something new, making asparagus out of the young fire weeds that come up in the spring. I'm going to put them in a sour herby mixture where I use organic white wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, water, salt and herbs. The exact recipe will be in the description box of this video. Fireweed is a medicinal herb that contains a lot of really important phytonutrients. It is also a food where we can use the leaves and salads. The flower buds laid in vinegar make a great addition to salads in the winter. And the flowers can be used to make jams and syrups. Even the root can be eaten. This is something I have yet to try. The whole dried herb can be used for tea. Make sure you harvest the fire weed before it goes into bloom. Otherwise you will end up with a lot of fluff inside your house. As the fire weed will produce its fluffy seeds while it's drying. The fire weed works anti-inflammatory and reduces edema. I always feel that edema is linked to held down emotions, especially sorrow, sadness, trauma and fear. And that is what she's also really good at, dealing with loss. She breaks loose and heals traumas, reconnects us to heaven and earth. Being grounded, feeling safe and present. Feeling the connection to everything that surrounds us by awakening our spiritual connection, our third eye. By doing this, we can finally release all that is no longer serving us. Also, I'm working really hard into harvesting all different types of herbs that grow here. After talking to many of you, I've noticed a lot of people don't have these types of herbs or any types of herbs available in their area. Either due to pollution, no garden or other human blocks between us and nature. I remember when I started learning about medicinal herbs, I felt so insecure in picking them. And I was so grateful for all the nice herbalists who took the time to make tinctures and dried herbs for me so I could use them. Grow confidence by connecting to them in a safe way. And this is my way of giving back to our wonderful community here. The web shop will open somewhere around fall 2020. For you who has been following me and my journey for a while, first of all thank you, you are amazing. I really appreciate you coming back over and over again to watch my videos. But you know I have wanted to move some spruce trees from the back of the garden to the front. This is to block some of the northwestern winds. And also I think it looks really nice. These trees were growing in a very crowded area, so now they have all the space to grow big and strong.
I started to expand my food garden. I built a very big raised bed, all of used materials. I started by putting in some moss to keep the moisture in the soil. It is so nice to go dig with your hands and knowing you are creating something that is not only healthy for yourself, but also reduces our footprint. I started planting zucchini, kale, broccoli and spinach in that week.
In this video, I want to thank Sharendu. You have been with me from the very beginning. Thank you for walking along with me on the journey into Sweden. Much love to you. I want to make my videos fun to watch, inspiring and filled with information. One thing I have already mentioned in previous videos is that there's a lot of deforestation going on in Sweden. Sweden is one of the highest ranking countries and yes we need wood, but there are better ways to do so. Now there are many organizations fighting the standard force model to change it into something more sustainable and that preserves high nature values. This piece of Mother Earth was six months ago a vibrant forest. Now it's a dead, destroyed landscape. I wish you all the best, subscribe if you are new, give it a like and comment and I see you all in the next video.